Hey guys, what's going on? I'm going to be doing a really quick video on the new Tapion banner. So we have a whole bunch of new information over here. This is the new Tapion banner. First off, I just want to call it, um, I think this is not a good banner. I really don't, uh, considering everyone was on it. If you like the Roshis and the fact that every LR is on the banner, that's cool. And you do have two new units. Outside of the two new units, it's really not that great. If you saw my team building guide, you'd know that there really aren't a lot of good linking buddies for them. Uh, one of the tech tapions is going to be pretty good for the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku due to the key orb manipulation to Rainbow Key. And he's a tech unit. So that's going to come into play when you're talking about how he is as a unit. And the agility one's pretty awesome as well. Uh, both of them are, are decent hitters, all right? Let me put it like that. But overall, the units, I think you can go without them for a while. They're not really the most amazing units in game. Anyway, banner runs until the 27th, so you have it here. Shout out to dbz.space for all the information. jpn.dbz.space for the JP news and information. Every single multi summon is going to give you two Santa Roshis, which is cool if you guys need some Santa Roshis for increasing super attacks of units. Um, the new agility and technique tapions are on here. You also have, I believe this is his brother uh, as a kid, so he's going to be available as an SR, which is going to be awesome as well. You don't really need him too much. He does link well with the tapion, obviously. Uh, you go ahead, and this is the new Dokkan event that's going to be coming with it. You Dokkan awaken both the technique and the agility tapions into their better, more badass forms. Um, so outside of that, this banner is here. I, honestly, guys, I don't think you should pull on it. Uh, you can if you want, if you, especially if you really like Tapion. Like, I really like Tapion, but not my thing. I also used all my stones for all the Super Saiyan 3, so I was pretty happy with that. This is the banner right here. Now, this is why I say it's not that great. As you see on your screen before you, we have the Technique Tapion. I already did a full review on that, so go ahead and check him out if you would like to. He is a pretty decent unit. The agility one is the uh, actual mono lead for the... Uh, transformation guys anyway so he's gonna be pretty decent hp attack and defense plus 150 percent and honestly if you have like the agility bardock i believe it is doken awaken who, or the technique bardock that is a doken awaken he does attack plus 100 percent when hp is 30 percent or above he's awesome and if you have the super baby because he's part of the transformation category he does it, uh, attack plus 100 percent for his passive so you have two hard hitters the only thing if you saw the team building guide the two tapions are not going to be available uh, on primary rotation they're going to be off rotation because honestly you're going to want the great apes there because the great apes are the ones who get off better link skills tapion only has shares like one or two links total with each of the transformation units so that kind of stinks for his leader ability and his leader his actual category team i don't think he's worth it that's why i don't think he's worth it honestly and plus on top of that i mean transformations are cool and all but they're not the hardest hitting units in game uh, he's a decent unit. He does a lot of attack. Once his HP goes below 50%, he transforms into Harutagon, I believe, once per uh, actual battle. Uh, and then outside of that, when his HP goes below 50%, yeah, his attack goes up by 150%. And on top of the immense damage multiplier, it's phenomenal. Plus his defense goes up and he's always reducing attack uh, damage, taking damage by 50, reducing it by 50%. So overall, he's a good tank. And, you know, obviously agility team. Agility teams are, for some reason, notably for tanking. We got, you kind of think that agility would be better for dodging, but whatever. Uh, anyway, outside of that, we have this garbage Gohan. He's really not that great of a unit. He does, like, he has one, one time, at one time, he does really good because he increases his attack by 200% and heals you 100% of the time. Or he heals you 100%. Only does it once per battle, though, which kind of stinks. You have this Bojack. He gets Doken Awakening because his Doken Awakening is really the only thing to actually talk about. When you Doken Awaken him, he becomes a decent extreme unit, attack plus 90% up. Uh, and he has some decent link skills, but honestly, he's not that great. He is he is farmable, so you could all semi farmable, so you can farm him up. Android 13, he is farmable when he Doken awakens. Um, I, what am I doing here? I don't want to search for him on Google. Stop it, Google. Uh, when he Doken awakens, he only he changes key orbs and he get, increases his own attack by 50%. Honestly, it's not that great. Um, he's not the best unit in game at all. Uh, Korra is actually a decent unit because his Doken Awakening makes him a really solid support unit. Uh, attack plus 30% and key plus 2 uh, for all members. I believe he does uh, ex extreme types of so the attack plus 30%. And either way, for a mono extreme team, he's really good for a Kid Buu team. So I just Doken mine on the global side of Dokkan Battle so that way my Kid Buu team can have a really good setup. Uh, so if you're looking to do something like that, he's going to be a really good unit for that kind of a team. Uh, outside of that, Android 18, you know me, I've said this a hundred times over, and I'll say it a hundred times again, she stinks. She is a super unit, she is a horrible android for any team. She has like one linking, one or two linking buddies, and they're always the androids, and she'll never be on any of their teams. She is just thrown in there because I don't know why. Anyway, she's not a good unit. If you pull her, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Anyone who's trying to defend her too, I'm sorry, you're wrong. <laughs> anyway, Turles is a good unit because he is good support for... Um, 
uh, any type of uh, unit who needs it, especially on the mono extreme team for Kid Buu. Kid Buu team, I know, if you guys don't know, Kid Buu uh, support team, if you're running like Janemba, Buhan, Kid Buu type of stuff, they, they share no key links whatsoever, so you're going to need the key support. That's why Trellis comes in really handy here. He is a key generator. Key plus three, attack plus 20% off for all allies. So that's awesome. He's really good support. So honestly, so far, outside of this, uh, the Korra and the and the Turles are the only two, and they're only really good for support. Bojack can be good, but not so much. Uh, the Korra is, let's see, I forgot what he is. Wait, let's, let's talk about his actual Doken Awakening real quick. Because uh, this he does Doken Awaken. Um, I believe he Doken Awaken. When he Doken Awakens, he gets Fierce Battle, which is cool. Uh, he does attack plus 90% at the beginning of the turn, which is cool for a mono tech team, a mono extreme tech team. He, I guess he could be kind of viable uh, once he gets that Doken Awakening. Outside of that, I mean, eh. I guess we could you could you could probably utilize him. Outside of that, I don't really know why else you would use him. Uh, we have the Goku over here. He Doken Awakens to this guy. He has a, a higher chance to stun the enemy, which is awesome. He has a flat-out boost, and it's only when HP is 50% or above, which is kind of whack. He's a Super Saiyan, so if you guys still have those left over, or if you were able to Super Attack 10 him, uh, and or if you have the crossover like I do, I'm waiting for me for me to actually pull him on the global side for the crossover One Piece event, so I can Super Attack 10 him. Uh, he will be able to hit a little bit of a harder hitter, but he's not amazing. And you have the two SRs over here, and honestly, these guys are really not that great as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump onto the wiki real quick in a little bit and talk about those two, uh, just because I haven't done a full overview. But honestly, uh, based off of the team you're trying to run, if you're if you're not, if we don't have, well, if you're trying to get a Super Saiyan 3 Broly team, this Korra is going to be decent for it because of his attack buffs. He's going to be a decent damage dealer. Uh, outside of that, the Korra and the Turles are going to be good support units for a Mono Kid Buu team. And the Bojax is going to be decent for attack damage on a Mono Super 17 team for Mono Agility. Uh, outside of those, if you're not into any of the extreme support leads, none of these guys are going to be good for you. Okay, I'm, not, I'm not trying to undersell the banner because these guys are good units and they're going to be really good for them, their Mono Extreme team. It's just that, you know, most people don't run the, those extreme leaders anymore, so it's very difficult to find a friend, unless you do have friends who, who have that, um, and or if you have a really good setup. Outside of that, I mean, your, your two golden units that I, my personal opinion, the two golden units are going to be the Korra and the, the Turles, because those are going to be the two guys that are going to always be on support until you get someone better. So, take that for what you will. Personally, I think this is a trap banner, but, I mean, this is supposed to be the Christmas banner, so it's really up to you, and I think the rates are doubled. So, I mean, you have a high chance of getting them. If you like them, then, hey, you know what? That's going to make it even better for you. Because, you know what? If you do get the Bojack and you get multiple of him, you could always do bottom right do path of him or the top left do path. Since Android 13 is farmable, I mean, I still don't think he's a good unit, but he does a key orb manipulator. He is farmable, so you can get him up to Super Attack 10 without a problem. Bottom right do path right off the bat, farm him up to Super Attack 10, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, outside of that, let's go over, jump over onto the stats real quick. Every single LR is featured on this banner, but all of them have a, almost a 0.1% pull. Well, not really 0.1. It's between a 0.6 to a 0.8% pull rate. So we'll average that to about a 0.7. They all have about a 0.7% pull rate, 0.07% pull rate. Really kind of stinks. But you have all of the LRs. You have LR Gohan, you have LR Broly, you have LR Trunks, you have LR Majin Vegeta, you have LR uh, Bo uh, Bo Bo Goku Black for all the mono 90% leads. Then you have Mighty Mask, and you have Bojack, and then you also have the new Goku, uh, the one that goes Super Saiyan 3. Now, I'm not going to go over him in this video. I'm going to save that for tomorrow's video. So I'm going to do a full overview of him, all of his Doken Awakenings, how to get all the medals, and a team building guide all in one video. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to subscribe so that way you can see that when I release that video tomorrow. Uh, outside of that, uh, everyone else has about a 1% pull rate. Uh, yeah, about a 1% pull rate. Uh, personally, I don't like the, a lot of these units. I think that if you are running extreme teams, this is going to be a really good banner for you. So if you're going to run an extreme team or you're running extreme teams and you don't have any of these units for it, then hey, you know what? This might be worth it for you. But because most of us are usually running categories and not mono teams anymore, especially on the JP side, uh, you might want to hold off on this banner unless you need the Santa Roshis for increasing super attacks um, or you want, you know, maybe try to get your luck because you really like Tapion. Outside of that, guys, I don't think it's worth it. But let's go ahead over here and jump onto the wiki real quick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the two new SRs that are available. Uh, that is Turles' brother and that weird-looking guy who gets them to open up the box. <laughs> um, so where are you? Here you go. This is his brother over here, and then this is the weird-looking guy who opens up, the, who gets them to open up the box. Now, what I'm going to do also, I'm going to rewatch the Tapion movie at some point today, and I'm going to do a full overview. I might release that today. I might release that to, or yeah, I might have already released that yesterday. We'll see. Anyway, um, this is going to be the Gentle Hero Minosha. Uh, his leader ability is Tech Type Attack minus 25%. Super attack, brave sword attack, brightly raises attack for one turn, extreme damage to the enemy, kind of whack. 
passive skill preparation of the brave damage received reduced by 40 percent when guard is active so he is a super unit so he's going to be really good uh when if you go on and you take on the extreme tech uh the tech event that where you have to you know where you're only able to take it on with a specific type of team so you could throw him on your super um your super technique team along with that trunks and they're going to damage reduction all the time so that way you're not taking a lot of damage link skills are hero experienced fighters courage brainiacs rival duo so he's going to link well with the tapion his max stats are hp of 7380 uh attack of 6140 and defense of 3041 with a 12 key multiplier of 130 percent for an sr what can you expect you're gonna get a whole bunch of him get him off the super attack 10 if you want to um i don't ever think he's gonna get a doken waking but happen and if he ever does then you're at least ready the damage received reduced if you're gonna use that as a thing um when his guard is active it's only gonna work up against technique types so that's going to make him a really nice tank unit for you guys. But um, outside of those mono teams, if you're going up against the mono events, he's not going to really be that useful for you. So uh, let's go over here and jump up on to, to Hoi. See if we control Hoi, I believe his name is. Um, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, well, I apologize. Leader ability is agility and strength type, HP and attack plus 30%. So kind of whack leader ability, but he is an SR. He does extreme damage to the enemy, medium chance to stun. So that's actually cool, the fact that he has a medium chance to stun. Uh, Dastardly Magic, Extreme Type Allies, Key Plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 20%. So he's actually, you know, he works himself into a good spot as a support unit um, for Extreme Type. So, I mean, honestly, guys, if you're looking for Extreme Units, this looks like it's going to be the banner for Extreme Units. Also, a whole bunch of good Extreme Units. The only heroes are going to be Tapion, the two Tapions, the Gohan, Goku, and Tapion's brother. Um, uh, minus the 18, she don't matter. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Link skills are Brainiacs, Coward, Thirst for Conquest, Flea, and Master of Magic. So, uh, I mean, Master of Magic, I guess. Uh, Thirst for Conquest and Brainiacs. I, guess, I mean, Thirst for Conquest is really the only good uh, uh, Link skill for extreme types. Uh, and that's like limited to like Frieza's clan and maybe a couple others. Brainiacs, not so much. Coward, yeah, but it's key plus one and not everyone has Coward. Uh, yeah, so he kind of has, he's lacking in link skills. His max stats are HP of 7,900, attack of 5,500, almost 5,600, and defense of 3,500, with a 12 key multiplier of 130%. You guys will be getting a whole bunch of them. Um, he's actually not a bad support unit for extreme type, so if you want, if you're, if you're running a mono extreme Janemba team, uh, he's going to be really cool. I mean, he's just straight out extreme buffs, so there's definitely going to be better units to use, but like on an actual villains team, he might be useful for you. So like if you're running, I mean, yes, there are better units to run for that key support, but if you're running a double merge Zama, team he could be beneficial for you because he gives you key plus two attack and defense plus 20 percent if you're lacking those types of support units but uh, overall guys i i can't tell you whether like my personal personal opinion is it's not worth pulling on this banner but i mean if your goals are extreme teams then it might be worth it for you so like again if you're looking to do an extreme agility team and you don't have that bojack it might be worth it if you're looking to do an extreme uh, intelligence team then this banner might be even more worth it for you because there's two really good units here and even that intelligence super, uh, super 13 is going to be kind of decent for you for support because he does key orb manipulation plus his attack isn't that bad attack plus 50 percent when he's doken waking and he gets him up himself up the super attack 10 so like honestly really my opinion romano intelligence extreme team this one might be worth it for you uh if you really like tapion then definitely pull on it outside of that i don't really think so really honestly i, and I apologize for saying that cause i know some of you guys are going to kind of be against it but i really don't think it's worth it i think it's a trap banner but um if you're saving your stones if you're a free to play player make sure to save your stones because i'm sure we're going to also get something on christmas in three more days so uh, anyway guys thank you for joining me here today make sure to subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you all later peace